And this will explode both the E ice as well as the R alt ice. Okay, so look at look at look at just the numbers popping up. This is why her energy gain is insane. You can see that she is already at half full in the ultimate bar already. This is why they hey everyone to my here and welcome to another Wuthering Waves video. So Pride One has just released their updated tier list guide and my goodness, Sanghua has finally been moved up to the 0 0.5 tier 0 0.5 hybrid DPS tier list, okay? And absolutely rightfully so because in this video, we'll compare the global tier list with the two CN tier list out there and also take a look at their Sanghua builds and combos and showcasing why she's honestly so damn strong and rated in tier 0 as the sole sub DPS and of course global has just increased her rating so let's take a look at why global has increased it just now so they're saying that with the addition of rover the havoc one that you unlock at the end of the story chapter six um, who deals a large chunk of their damage through basic attacks sanghua now finds another team to call home this means that she is now the best support which is the second sub dps in encore teams lingyan teams and havoc rover teams which are now viable in end game and also you can easily slot into other teams as the generic carrier of the five piece moon set and the hero icon uh, sr echo okay so she is very very multifaceted in what she can fill role wise okay and that's why she ranks now a lot higher i think previously she was in tier one but she ranks a lot higher on the pride one tier list at the moment and i'll just draw your attention to the two cn because over on cn sanghua is absolutely rated one of the top 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 tier top dps at the moment and because we don't have yingling at the moment sanghua is the sole tier zero the sole sub dps tier zero and the reasoning they have provided is of course very similar to global actually is that she is going to be the one size fit all bar from the gn team okay so gn right now the best partner his best partner is the mort uh, mortife or motifi i'm not sure how to say his name but mort is the best partner to gn and he, he's also on his banner so that makes it easy but sanghua whether a pairing uh, her up with encore calculator or whatnot she is currently the best the best sub dps in terms of damage and uh, i'll explain in greater detail in the sanghua guide right now okay this ultimately comes down to the fact that cm playstyle is a bit different from the global one because uh they prioritize burst so they will be swapping characters quite a lot and utilizing their short burst windows to maximize damage and to maximize their energy or concerto recharge rate okay and it's quite important so this is the build right now and very similar to the global at the moment uh, so this is the five uh, five piece that they were talking about the five uh, piece moonlit set okay and uh, going over to their builds it's the exact same so very very nice to see and you can see that uh, the best team slots are the best partners for her right now all the three core dps on the standard banners you can use with her right so either pick out Carol uncle or leave ling yang and then slot sang hua in who is a free free unit they get on day five and then after that you've got the uh, um, uh verna and the Baizi if you want for your healer sub slot so again the reason why she is so uh, much loved over on cn is because of the uh energy recharge okay you'll see that uh, in the showcase that they do here basically you have two one is concerto energy and then the other is your ultimate energy basically the one um that requires you to uh to basically recharge both to utilize your team to the best potential because uh, it affects your outro, your intro, and also affects your uh, ultimate attack. So you can see that uh, in terms of the damage calculation in Water and Wave, okay, if you are not doing damage uh, on the team, you only get 50% of the uh, energy gain. Now, looking at, for example, this example right here, if GN is doing damage at the moment, GN will get 100% of the energy gain. But the characters that are not gaining, uh, uh, not doing any damage, they only gain 50%. So this makes units that give a lot of energy gain a huge advantage and Sanghua has a humongous humongous amount of energy gain and this is very important because in the uh, tower when it's a DPS raise you definitely want to have your main DPS and then you want to uh, swap Sanghua in for example and instantly you're starting to fill out your concerto energy and you're starting to fill out all of the energy required to uh, to make this happen you can see that uh, their usage of Sanghua in their burst widow is very unique okay so uh, previously I know a lot of you guys 
caught my CN uh, tier list guide, and I will leave a link down below, but I'll be a bit more detailed in how this is being built. Okay, so this is the Sanghua guide, and it has combos as well to how to maximize her. So she is going to be using the standard banner weapon, okay, and you can use the monthly pass weapon as well. That is another choice in terms of the weapon choices. And then for the uh, echoes, it, it is that bird, the lightning bird. And then for the ultimate, the final uh, in terms of the Echo 5-piece, it's the same one. So all of the guys are uh, pointing at the same one, which is a 5-piece Moonlit. In terms of your 4 cost, um, Echoes, you want a crit rate and crit damage. And your 3 cost, you should, you should aim for uh, ice damage and attack. And then your 1 cost should be attack. You definitely need to push her to uh, the uh, um, energy gain of 130%. Okay, that is, I think, their minimum that they want uh, everyone to have. And then she, of course, is being uh, slotted as a sub DPS in this team. So, again, the main DPS is going to be a Carol or Encore. And then sub DPS Sanghua will come in, do the burst, and exit out. And their combo here is uh, R which is the ult and again this is based on the tower scenario where everyone is full energy to start out you use your r and then use your e to charge which brings out the ice and then use your q which is echo summon and as soon as the summon is out you swap out okay and because of how wuthering wave has their summon animations um the summons will still do things while you're swapping out and before the ice disappears you swap back in you heavy hit to break the ice and you press e again and you exit out so you can see that she is not going to be on the field for a lot of time but just during that short portion she's going to do an insane amount of damage and gain insane amounts of energy which is very very crucial as her role in um uh, as a sub dps so you can see the animation okay so this is one of the animation where they use the um uh, so this is the E, okay, and then you have to hold, uh, you can see that the uh, the little dot will move as you hold for a strong attack, and if you release it in the uh, blue bar right here, then it will basically decimate the ice and then trigger extra damage. So you can see here, and explode, there we go, okay, and then here is the full combo, so pay attention, okay, this is after you have swapped in, okay, so this is already post-swap in, um, you can see that the uh, Q is on cooldown, which means the echo has been used, so this, in terms of the combo line, is post REQ, which means that um, uh, in this case, actually not post R, it's mid fight. But you have used your E, it's off cooldown now, and you have used your Q, and it's just came off cooldown. So what's going to happen right now is you've swapped yourself in, your Q is still on cooldown, but you have your R ready, you have your E ready, and here is how you're going to maximize your damage uh, when you're swapping in. You come in and you use your E right away. Okay, so that was a concerto swap in, and then you use your E right away, and you use your R after that, and you hold for a strong attack, and it explodes, and this will explode both the E ice as well as the R alt ice. Okay, so look at, look at, look at just the numbers popping up. This is why her energy gain is insane. You can see that she is already at half full in the ultimate bar already. This is why they love her over there in CN, because of the amount of energy gain that she'll get, and that when every time she comes in, she just unloads her combos and just leaves, um, allowing your main DPS to do the work and allowing Window for your support to do the work is absolutely greatly appreciated, just due to the fact that uh, she can do it all in such a short amount of time, and then uh, after the explosion, then you swap out, for example, Encore. Right. It's very, very um, combo oriented and uh, rightfully so because, uh, I mean, this is the perfect setup as a set sub DPS. Uh, you have a short window, you come in, you release all of your skills. It's simple. You have your ult, you release it. You have your E, you release it. And then you stronghold um, to explode make sure it matches, the little dot matches in the uh, time frame. And then you, you destroy all the ice, explode for some damage, and then you're out. And that's three, four seconds of uh, hard work from Sanghua, and that's all you need from her for now. And then you let your main TPS do the work, you get the energy gain from Sanghua, and then when everything's up, you do it again. And that's why she is deserving of the tier 0 spot over a CN. I think, um, again, even for most of the players, it's not that difficult because of how short her burst window is. You literally press R if you have it, you press E if you have it, you press Q if you have it, and you swap out and swap back in um, after Q, and then uh, you just long hold press, and that's it. So uh, absolutely deserving. I'm very glad to see her move up to the 0 0.5 tier list score. And also that she is free. Everyone will get her on day 5. So looking forward to it. And uh, as we approach day 5. 
everyone is going to be enjoying Sanghua. And then even later on, when she gets more copies, she's going to be even better. So let me know your thoughts. Um, hopefully, you do appreciate this type of video where I take a deeper dive, I guess, into the guides. Because previously, when we did a quick rundown of this, right, we kind of saw the page, but there was no translation, no uh, coverage of um, the in-depth part of, you know, what echoes, what sets. Uh, the uh, echo substats, uh, the weapons, the teams, and then the combos. So in this case, for example, again, we're showing very clearly, you concerto in, uh, use your E, you use your R already, all the ices are on the field, you heavy press, you release, it explodes, you gain the energy, half filled, you swap out to your main DPS. So uh, hopefully this is a format that you like. If so, I'll be making more. And uh, yes, to my here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And goodbye now.